you know, black folks, and basically Hawaii finally got snow at their high elevation there, 13.4. As you see, elevation 13,400 feet, and there we go, terahydrons, tetrahydrons. We've got triangulation, boom, boom, boom. Colors that we would normally see at the north and south pole, not in the east and west. And basically, this is Hawaii west. So, as you see, uh, terahydrons, tetrahydron there, terahydron, tetrahydron, stars, basically, folks. Stars, triangulations of stars in space, terahydrons, tetrahydrons, light down to space. And basically, if you look at any of my videos that we basically put up today, you would see from Japan that the volcano over there is getting the same action and basically been exploding for a long time. And how that they're covering up some footage at Dutch and probably some other, and more than likely, they, you know, we bite our tongues. And there we see black light, terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Triangulations of stars in space, planets, dying out stars, and so forth and so such. They got some snow up there now. So now we have interesting stuff to look at. So basically we're going to go to a webcam. I decided to filter through some of the shots real fast to see what else we can see. But basically blowing out at us is the uh, triangulation here. Bam. And... Also, there there's some objects, and magnificently, we are also getting, as you see, you get a nice light action, and bam, bam, bam. It's not hard to see, so uh, let me see what we can find here. And bam, we get terahydrin, tetrahydrin. Look at that dark red one there, action. And we get the blacks that we've known and we've seen. And as you can see, she's still warming up more. We go through here and we'll see what we see hanging in the sky all the time, pretty much. The black, dark terahydrons there. And dramatically, uh, going back, we'll suck in and get on an ant. Very unique. We get terahydron, tetrahydron action here also. Almost looks like a wheel in the sky there, that one there. Very unusual. And I think I got beacon up so that I can still, and then you see the sun's really pounding on it pretty good. And there was fresh snow up there, so you can see the volcano is very hot because it's basically melting the snow when it hits it. And that's very interesting there, folks. Very interesting. Okay, now the doors to the telescope are open, but not the doors uh, on the, t well, the telescope is, but it's basically facing to the, uh, it, at least it looks like the, what direction you'll end up seeing. It doesn't really look like it moves too much, but these are the doors, and you can see the kaleidoscope of, of uh, space and stars and stuff like that flopping around in there off of the lens. See all that color action? Looks like a disco going on in there, okay, because that's inside. Okay, they had the doors open. And basically this was weather hitting it because the snow came and we back up here and I think I can freeze it when we get first daylight. Okay, close the doors. Basically the kaleidoscope of what you're seeing inside. Now our asteroid belt stays there. Pretty good. Predominant. Uh, you're going to see, I'll hit click and, and stop here. Try to get it to frame as you will see just before, just before we get the weather. Maybe hopefully I can get it again there. Did you see that? You get a lot of the dark stars because basically that's behind us and the sun's coming up in the east over here all the time okay but there's a storm going on and then you get a good view of a filter of the asteroid belt that we've showed you before so it's even clearer for people that are like oh what i don't know that yeah it sure the hell is folks check that asteroid belt out and then that triangulation there boom 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 one two three and there could be more could even be I don't know, but you can see three for positive, and then we have this other stuff back over here. So, and then I just, hopefully I can just click, and we'll get hopefully that just little gap before that weather set in. Oh, there it was just for a second. You can see it, and it's just like it won't. Because did you see that? How we basically got a nice, and I just can't get it to. Let's see if I can get it to. There you go. Check that out. So there's some more triangulation there. Okay, so these, uh, the weather giving us a nice filter on that webcam to see some amazing stuff burning through even the snow, folks. As you see, 
you can see all this. There, 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 all over the sky. There. Okay. Very amazing. Because then we have, and you can always go back to this. I froze it pretty, pretty good for you there. You can go back to that. And there's even a little bit there that maybe you can play around with, with the Java player when it plays. See if you can freeze some of that too, as you see the larger there. And also here before, also some interesting stuff here before, because then the weather sets in. Okay? It freezes the lens, and then the sun comes up, and the sun will melt the lens off. And there you go. So, more interesting stuff. Very unique because they're not real bright stars, but they get to be seen. Black light down here on Earth, very unique. And then we go off into the night, and I'm not remember what we, what we saw basically. And the scope didn't really telescope didn't turn around too much except for at the very end. So and as you can see, the kaleidoscope is the doors open of how much they get in there at nighttime. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to see from the top of the sun, okay? i got this other Soho observer that's going to be going up, or maybe he's already on its way. So, we're going to be able to see the sun from the top. Want to look at some more CMEs, and basically between Venus and... It states in here that it'll be hanging out between Venus and Mercury, I believe. This one will be hanging out. Yep, Venus and Mercury right down there. Should be showing there, Venus and Mercury. So, we should be getting some interesting shots again pretty soon.
I'm basically going back to the volcano and you can see a planet star flopper right here as you'll see that resonation so I'll be up my point over here and you'll see terahydrons, tetrahydrons objects, moons, whatever small planets around the star or whatever you can see it right there directly to the left as you see it moves around very 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 fast every once in a while you'll see it shudder see that shuddering action there folks that is fast spinning and now you can see even more terahydron tetrahydron to a point way on the outside of it but directly to the right of this pointer and straight across and you can see both of those stars there and then I end up blocking them like a dingbat there you go so you can see some interesting action right there alone hologram right down here to earth and that's where this is over at the Japan volcano so look around on the screen and you might even see something that I don't see but you can see that for positive there and you'll see other stuff bouncing in and out triangulating with that and I'm basically completely to the right you know I'm in the black over here to the right not to mess up the video your eyes don't lie